In this video, I'm going to discuss more in detail about main breast cancer screening test. We know about mammogram, right? But there's much more to it, um, which is available to some folks and people who are able to afford them. Um, mammogram is a gold standard though. It is an X-ray of the breast, best for detecting calcifications and early tumors, specifically, especially in women aged 40 to 74. Pros, most evidence-based um, test. It reduces breast cancer mortality. Widely available, relatively inexpensive. Cons, less accurate in women with dense breast tissue. And it has a small radiation exposure. Verdict, best overall test. Baseline for all women more than age 40 or more than 40. Digital breast tomosynthesis, 3D mammography. What it, what it is, advanced mammography creating 3D images of the breast. Pros, better detection in dense breast, fewer false positive and unnecessary biopsies. Cons, higher cost, not available everywhere. Verdict, better than a standard mammogram if accessible. Breast ultrasound, what it is, sound waves to create breast images. Best for supplemental test in dense breast, in dense breast. Evaluating a lump found on exam or mammogram for further examination. Pros, no radiation. Useful for dis distinguishing cystic swelling and solid masses. Cons, cannot replace mammogram. Operator dependent, more false positive. Verdict, good add-on, not a primary screening tool. Breast MRI, what it is? High resolution imaging with contrast dye. Best for high risk women. History of BRCA mutation, strong family history, history of radiation exposure. Pros, very sensitive, can detect cancers missed by mammogram. Cons, expensive, time consuming, risk of false positive. Not useful for average risk women. Verdict. Excellent for high risk, overkill for average risk. Molecular best imaging called PET scan. What it is, nuclear medicine scans where they inject a tracer dye in your body. Pros, detects cancer in dense breast. Cons, radiation exposure, expensive, limited availability. Verdict, a specialized tool, not routine. Thermography, infrared imaging, what it is, measures heat pattern in the breast. Pros, non-invasive, no radiation. Cons, very poor accuracy, high false positive and negative. FDA warns it should not replace mammography. Verdict, worst option, not recommended. So in summary, best to worst, and evidence-based mammogram, 2D, 3D, baseline test, MRI for high risk only, ultrasound useful as an add-on, not reliable or worse, thermography should not be used for screening. So this is Dr. PK from Dr. PK Live. Thank you for watching.